Welcome back to Living Local. Time to check in here with Movie Mike for what's new in theaters and look at what was old in theaters. Our editor for the River yeah. Cities Reader, Mike Schultz here. And uh, yeah, you had a good one, one that was okay, and the one was and horrible. And a terrible one. Okay. What order should we do these That's in? a grab bag. Why don't you pick? <laughs> Let's start with the great one. The great it's one. It's actually a great one. Not okay. even a good one. It's a great one. Okay. Stan and Ollie. Uh, right. The story of Laurel and Hardy. It takes place <laughs> during their uh, last tour in uh, uh, kind of England and Scotland and uh, in Ireland. They go, it's about 1953. Used to be, of course, the biggest comedy team in the world. Now their star has waned a little bit. And so they're trying to make, uh, raise financing for a new film. Hmm. So they're doing this kind of vaudeville house tour. Um, so, But it's basically just about learning about them and their lives lives and their career and how it kind of went south and uh, yeah. uh, but it's so beautifully performed you have Steve Coogan as Stan Laurel and you've got John C. Riley under incredible prosthetic makeup uh, adding like 150 pounds them. to him uh, as Oliver Hardy it's uh, it's just wonderful. It's smart. It's funny. Um, their wives show up. Uh, Nina Arianda and Shirley Henderson need a movie of their own. They're just so <laughs> funny. They're just a. They're like Statler and Waldorf as a pair of like comics wives. There you it's go. Hilarious. Yeah. Um, I had such a great time at this, and it's like 90 minutes. Oh, it's, so it's really easy. It's sweet. Yeah. It's easy. It's a movie you can bring your grandparents to, and you'll have a great time. Ah, I had okay. a good time. All right, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. And Steve Coogan is quickly becoming one of my favorites. Isn't he great? I mean, I remember him back in Holes was the first time I ever saw him. Oh, okay. And All then, right, yeah. you know, ever since then, he's just yeah. better Hamlet, and better stuff. Hamlet 2 is one Hamlet you need two. to see All if you right. get a chance. It's hysterical. Hamlet 2. All right. It's great. Yeah. All right. In a movie that had its moments, The Kid Who Would Be King. The this Kid Who Would Be King. For the families. Yeah, exactly. It's right. uh, the Arthurian legend, basically, as told through teens. Uh, a 12-year-old uh, bully oh. kid pulls a sword out of a stone, and it turns out to be the sword in the stone. Uh, Merlin shows up and says, you're going to have to lead an army against Morgana, who's coming back to uh, oh. take over the world. The action scenes are kind of dull. The effects aren't really worth writing home about. Yeah. But it's got some charming moments. It moves <laughs> relatively quickly. The kid who plays Merlin is fantastic. And yeah. uh, you also get Patrick Stewart showing up as the elder Merlin wow. every once in a while. And there is a scene where he's performing witchcraft in a Led Zeppelin t-shirt. And I just <laughs> I just wanted to I just wanted to hug the movie yes. just for like five seconds, just going, Thank you for making this making my day with yeah. that. Stroke that's of genius cool. right there. Yeah, right? Care who you that's are. all you need yeah. for a movie to be fun. <laughs> that's good. That's okay. That's good. All right, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to hear about this next one because, as you said, it was terrible. Serenity. Serenity. Okay. So here's the gig. <laughs> so it starts out kind of like Moby Dick, where Matthew McConaughey is a, right. a fisherman who's after this gigantic, uh, an enormous tuna, actually, tuna. that he's been trying to catch for years and years. <laughs> then his ex-wife, played by Anne Hathaway, shows up and says that she's in an abusive marriage to her new husband and she would like Matthew McConaughey please to kill him for $10 million. Okay. Then it turns into something kind of like the Truman Show where everything starts becoming a little bit is this real life? Is this not real life? And we get images of Matthew McConaughey's son typing code into a computer. And we're going, what, ex what exactly yeah. is going on? And so the movie, for a, an hour, 40 minutes, tries to dovetail these kind of three elements. It just gets progressively sillier and stupider and more laughable, and uh, it's uh, Jamon Hounsou shows up, and it's uh, it's just it makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, but if you need to see this movie, you should see it on like cold medication and a margarita because <laughs> you will have you will have such. I don't know a if good we can time. recommend that. It makes but no yeah. sense. It's right. like mystery science Nothing theater quality bad. Wow. So it's it's kind of worth it in that uh, okay. in that sense. I'd wait till it's at home. Make a drinking game out of yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. At best. All right. Yeah. Sounds it's good. <laughs> well, we'll move into uh, the new movies on that note. Uh, okay. First up, we have Miss Bala. Miss Bala. Yes, this is an action thriller uh, about a makeup artist in Hollywood who goes to visit her best friend in Mexico. Okay. Uh, the best friend gets kidnapped by a drug cartel, and they force Miss Bala, played by Gina Rodriguez, mm. to uh, to uh, launder money over the border to get her friend back. She winds up then, in being, it sounds kind of like Serenity now that I'm saying yeah, it out there loud. there you go. Sheena uh, <laughs> Rodriguez then asked, uh, gets in, involved with the DEA and she starts turning the tables on the bad guys and on the DEA. Oh, it looks man. crazy and busy, but it's got Gina Rodriguez, who is fantastic it's from wonderful. Jane the Virgin, yeah. of course, won a Golden Globe. She's great. The director is Catherine Hardwick, who made Twilight, mm -hmm. uh, the very first Twilight, actually. Um, so it's got good people in front of and behind the camera. And, uh, you know, if you need to see something in February for yeah. two hours, I guess you could do worse. Something to get your heart we'll racing because yeah. it's a little cold, so why not? Gina Rodriguez, she's great. She is, I'll for see sure. Yeah. All righty, and the least of these. The least of these. All right, this sounds like a really interesting true story. Uh, okay. It is 
is set in India in 1999, and it's about an Australian missionary who goes to a leper colony in India to uh, take care of lepers, but the Indians are convinced that he is there to illegally convert them to Christianity. Mm. So enter an investigative reporter who starts in, uh, investigating this and finding out what's going on. It's uh, kind of an amazing and really tragic true story, mm. um, but it looks kind of fascinating, and you've also got Stephen Baldwin playing the Australian missionary. What's the last thing he was in? I can't even, I can't I even know. think. That's it's been a long time. <laughs> but any excuse to listen to Stephen Baldwin do an Australian <laughs> accent, go for it. Could Hopefully be fun. it's as good as Alex Trump impression. Oh, so, that yeah. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah, we'll see how indeed. well they how good they are to yeah, impressions. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it doesn't look like a bad movie at all. Interesting. All right, and this one, uh, I, I'm busting at the seams to see. It's a documentary. They shall not grow old. Mm -hmm. Peter Jackson. I mean, yeah, Peter it, Jackson. It amazing. It is uh, a documentary, like you said, about uh, the Western, uh, the soldiers who fought on the Western Front in World War One. Right. So what Peter Jackson got was a hundred hours of kind of newsreel footage of the period yeah. that he was that he was going to convert for this documentary and. And so what he's done is he's colorized the film in, in, in several uh, aspects. He's gotten voice actors to recreate conversations based on people who read lips yeah. who watched the movie and said, I think this is what they're saying. And so they had actors say that. And uh, it's now an hour and 40 minute documentary about Man. the experience of being on the Western Front. Yeah. This got released um, kind of as a special release in December, like one day only here, one day only here. Uh, but it made so much money and it did so well both with audiences and with critics that they're bringing it back for a full run, which is great because I didn't amazing. get to see it. Yeah. But uh, boy, I have friends who don't see any movies who are being who are emailing me and stopping me in conversation saying you've got to see this thing it's yeah. extraordinary I think it's I something wait. for everyone I mean this is history it's mm -hmm. I think and it really just kind of puts you in that situation in the the fronts with them almost because of the color yeah that footage is incredible right. I mean that's yeah. insane that that was all from black and white silent mm. footage yeah. you know uh, I can't it's wait. Amazing. Peter Jackson's a genius. He is. He yeah. is for sure. Should Look be great. further than Lord of the Rings, one of my favorites. Yeah. I'll have to get your thoughts on that some other time. All right. Sounds All righty. And last one, really quickly uh, sure. Cold War. This is in Iowa City, though. Yes, this is playing a film scene in Iowa City. This is kind of a, uh, a tragic romance uh, set in uh, Poland in the 1950s about a musician who falls in love with a singer, hmm. and they are trying to get out of. Uh, communist Poland and move to France. Um, it's by uh, Paweł Pawlikowski is his name. Okay. He's up for best director for this, wow. uh, which is unusual for a film not nominated for best picture to be up for director in the first place. Yeah. It's up for best foreign language film, best cinematography. His movie uh, Ida about a novitiate in Poland uh, a few years back won an Oscar for best foreign film. Uh, the reviews are off the hook. The cinematography, as you can see, all black and white, amazing. is yeah. just gorgeous. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so if you're up for a, a field trip to Iowa City, this could be a really good one to see. And again, I hear it's like 85 minutes long, which if this is the new trend for <laughs> 2019 of yeah. movies that aren't two hours, Bring them on. You're That's, in. Yeah. yeah, you're in for that. Cool. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, yeah. a lot of good ones here this week. Hope you have fun with them. Me too. Thanks as always for being here. That's a pleasure. In Thanks. review, the new movies here this week are Miss Bala, The Least of These, They Shall Not Grow Old, and Cold War. You can read Mike's movie reviews inside the latest reader on stands everywhere and online at rcreader.com.